Hi everyone and welcome to our video tutorial today on how to complete a rate override within your new book system. So rate overrides are great for taking things offline um, from your website or any other third party websites or changing pricing or even adjusting your minimum night stays. To do a rate override you need to head into your rates chart. You'll then notice in the top bar we have our add new rate override button. What this is going to do is adjust whatever pricing we see below. So you can see we have our base rates here, our categories of accommodation, you'll be able to see the date ranges and also the rate types and the pricing that is currently in place. You'll notice the text is not bold which indicates that there is no override in place currently. However when we start to make changes to these you'll notice that they do go into the bold text or italic text. So the first rate override I'd like to show you is a stop sell and this is how we can take availability offline. If we simply head to add new rate override in the top right it's going to take us to our override screen where we need to select the date in which this is going to be taken offline. So once we select our period from and period to, you'll then be able to head over to the right hand side to select which category of accommodation you'd like to take offline. In this scenario I'm just going to take our unpowered RV sites off. If I did want to do multiple I can click in and select specific ones or I can click on the arrow on the right hand side to select all. Underneath I then have my rate types. So this is basically telling the system which specific rate for that style of accommodation would you like to take offline. With this we're going to do our standard and then underneath we have our booking channel. This is a super important part of an override. For those of you who have not completed a rate override in your system yet and you want to ensure that any website that is being pushed with the standard rate is stop sold, you can simply leave base rates there and NewBook will ensure that it makes it unavailable for your website and all third parties and also for your staff manual bookings. If we click down to our next section which is our base override details, this is where we specifically can set the stop sell override. So what I'll do is set this to yes and then all we're going to do is select save which will take us back to that rate chart. We can see it successfully created those four rate overrides for those four evenings on our unpowered RV site and you can see the stop sign clearly visible here. In our rate chart settings below you'll notice on the right there's a section called booking channel. If I want to ensure that these overrides have essentially updated on any channel that I'm sending them through to, I can specify them within here and then reload the chart. You'll notice I've inserted New Book Online which now shows me that New Book Online is also receiving that stop sell over those four nights. Next I'd like to show you exactly how we're able to remove the stop sell that we've just put in place which will essentially open up the availability for guests to start booking online via third parties and for staff to start making bookings again on our unpowered sites over those dates. So to do this it's just another rate override. We head to add new rate override. We need to select the same dates and on the right the same category rate type. We would leave the channel on base as that's what we overrode before and on the stop cell we would simply change this to no and then save. That will take us back to our rates chart. So you'll see here we've got the override that's just been created to reopen up that availability. You'll notice that the text appears in bold but the stop cell has now been removed. So this is just a way to communicate that at one stage something has been overridden uh, but now it appears to be available to book. The next override I would like to take a look at is how we're able to actually adjust the price on a specific style of accommodation. So it's exactly the same process. We go up to add new rate override. We select the dates that we would like to make the change across. We then select the category. This time I'll do my powered RV site and I'm also going to do my standard rate as that's all I have available at the minute. I'm going to leave it on base because I want this price again to affect my offline bookings that staff make and also my new book online and my third party websites. We're this time going to head down to our daily pricing override tab which is where we can actually adjust the pricing. We have two frequently used options which are the percentage increase or decrease or the fixed dollar value increase, decrease or setting an actual fixed amount. I'm going to show the percentage increase for today so we'll increase it by 15% on top of what it currently is and then simply save. That then again takes us back to the chart, lets it know that it's over it in here 
and you'll be able to see quite clearly in the bold over the dates on our Powered RV site that it has gone up by 15%. Again, also indicated by that bold text. If you were ever wanting to see who did that override or what overrides are potentially in place, you can double click on the box on the day that's overridden and a pop-up window will appear. You can click into this little audit log icon but generally on the screen you can see what it is that's been adjusted. So I can see that there's a percentage increase here. If I wanted to see who did it though, I can click the audit log and that will say who created that overridden rate or tariff, when and uh, what user. If we head back to our rates chart, I'd like to show you one more option here with how we can adjust the minimum nights over some specific dates. So again, very much the same process. We're going add new rate override. We're going to select our dates and how long that goes for. The categories of accommodation, this time I'm actually going to click into my powered RV and my unpowered on my standard rate type. This time we're actually going to head into our other daily overrides tab. So this is where we have things such as minimum and maximum night stay restrictions. So if we want to adjust these, we simply change it to specify value and then set what it is that we want to change it to. There is nothing stopping me from also doing a price change at the same time. So you can do multiple overrides in one go. I would simply again go to my pricing, head to the percentage or the fixed amount options here and say that I maybe want to increase things by $15 specifically over those dates and have a seven night stay. If we save, again, that's going to take us back to the rate chart, let us know that they were successful. And then you'll be able to see over our June dates here, what the price is actually bumped up to. So it's $35 and when I hover, you can actually see that it says it's a minimum of seven nights. An additional indicator on here as well when there are multiple rate overrides is that it's bold and also underlined. If you would like to see whatever minimum night stays are in play by default, in your rate chart settings down the bottom, you can also configure this chart to always display minimum nights and then simply reload. That way you'll have a line directly underneath your nightly rates telling you exactly what the minimum night stays are on each one. If you would like to make a adjustment to just one specific channel, such as newbookonline or booking.com, you can do this by heading to add new rate override. Following the same steps as we have been doing, the one main change that you need to adjust here is that once you have gotten to your channel section in this area, you would remove your base rate and select the actual channel that is going to be adjusted. Once you've selected here, you then make your adjustment with your override details below. In this scenario, let's change the price to be a fixed value at 100. And once we save that one, you'll notice in our base rate section here, we're not going to have anything adjusted with the pricing in this area. But underneath in our new book online section, we can see that the rates have gone up to the $100 value here. So this adjustment is only going to affect new book online. It is important to understand that as soon as you start making channel specific overrides, that next time you go to do an override that affects the same date, you may need to include that channel if you want to force the changes across everything. As you can see, when I go up to my add rate override option here, if I go to override the same dates and I want to make some sort of different change, which affects again my powered RV or my standard rate, if I select booking channel base rate and I do not include new book online and I want to revert it maybe back to the original pricing, when I save, you will be triggered with a warning that tells you the following booking channels have specific overrides in place and will not be affected by this override. So it's telling us New Book Online has got its own separate override in place. And if you want to ensure that this particular override that we're now implementing also forces across that channel, you'll need to include it in the actual channel selection here by selecting or if you're happy for New Book Online to remain as it is on its own separate override, you would select skip specific channel warning and that will bypass it. If we want to align them, I'm going to click New Book Online and then save where you'll be able to see that now these dates have gone back to the original. 
If a team member has made multiple mistakes and you potentially need to clear all overrides in the system, this can also be done by going add new rate override, ensuring you select the full period that you want to wipe the overrides from, if you want to ensure it affects all categories of accommodation, rate types, and any channels, you can include them within here. And what you're then going to do is say active, no. So please note when we are changing this to no, it will deactivate or remove every single override that has been completed prior to this over these dates. So if you had a stop sell, a minimum night stay change, a pricing change, it's reverting everything back to whatever the original rates are actually set as. So if we save, you'll notice that clears everything over those dates. You'll notice there is absolutely no bold or italic text displaying anymore and uh, our overrides have been officially cleared and we can start again from scratch if we need to. As mentioned in most of our video tutorials, if at any point you get stuck or would like some further information about the feature that you're looking at, click into the question mark icon in the top right and that's going to expand our knowledge base where you'll see some really helpful articles on what you're able to do on that page or what the actual feature does. You can then click onto these, add them to your own little favorites bar. And when you do that, you'll have your own favorites icon in the bottom right, where you can select and refer to those articles at a later stage. You can also pin video tutorials to this as well. If you can't find the information you're looking for, you can always reach out to the support team for some further assistance. That does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today. We hope you've enjoyed and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.